Hey guys, CS here with a tutorial video. Do you love streaming on Mixer? Do you love the low latency of streaming on Mixer, but you also want to rebroadcast your stream to other platforms? Well, do I have the solution for you? Well, it's, it's a solution. It might not be the best solution, but it works for me, and this is what I use all the time. So I get questions from people asking me how I do this um, to be able to preserve the low latency of Mixer, but also rebroadcast to YouTube. So I'm going to show you right now what I do. Uh, forgive the endless CS hallway here. <laughs> so you go to settings and you set up your stream. Uh, select Beam FTL service, enter the stream key, choose whatever server is closest to you. Whatever you would normally do for Mixer streaming, you would set up in the first instance of OBS. So what really, where it really gets interesting is when you launch a second, what I do is I do double encoding. So basically, it is an extra stress on my processor um, to do this, but you may also be able to use the NVIDIA encoder as well. But anyway, what you can do is you can launch a second instance of OBS FTL. It's going to warn you saying, hey, it's already open, but go ahead and launch anyway. Um, and you're going to get a second window. Where the heck is it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> so uh, basically, uh, now I have a second instance of OBS open. We'll put them side by side. And this one is going to broadcast to the YouTube side. Now you can clearly see that uh, <laughs> only one instance of OBS can capture your webcam. So this is a problem. Uh, how I get around this problem is I, I right click on the preview window in my main OBS, set it to full screen projector preview. And you can, if you have dual monitors, this actually really helps. But you can set it to whichever monitor you want. So set it to this, and it's going to, well, it's going to make this full screen. Now, of course, it is recursively capturing what I'm recording right now. So this is why we get the hallway effect. Basically, this full screen is everything that you are putting out on stream to Mixer. So this is actually a window itself. You can capture this window. This is a... This is a legit thing that can be recaptured in OBS. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to send this to the background. To do that, you can make sure this is the active window by clicking on it, and then press Alt-Escape. So Alt-Escape sends that to the background of my desktop. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to see it most of the time. It's just there. This second instance of OBS I opened up for the YouTube side of the stream. I have a special scene collection set up for restreaming. Basically, it includes a scene called YouTube Stream Capture. I have a source. It is a, hold on, let's go to properties. It is a window capture source. So what you're gonna, you're gonna wanna set up a new scene and a new source called for window capture. You're going to wanna make sure you are capturing the OBS 64 window. Now there's two, obviously two things you can capture here. You can capture just the, you know, the standard OBS window, but that, that doesn't work. That look, look at that. That looks horrible. You want to make sure you're capturing your f what's that full screen window in the background. So basically, what you see on the YouTube side is going to look identical to what you're broadcasting on the Mixer side. The other thing to remember here is you do have a separate set of audio controls when you're rebroadcasting. You're going to have to make sure you tweak that so that there's no unwanted echo, because that can happen quite easily when you have multiple audio setups like this. The one I have broadcast on YouTube is capturing the audio completely separately from how it's being captured and streamed to Mixer. Another thing you want to do is go to settings in your, the one that's going to restream to YouTube. You got to configure the settings here, obviously. Uh, so go to the stream tab. You're going to choose streaming services. YouTube, you gotta set your stream key in here. That's given to you in the YouTube uh, ingestion settings tab. Ba once you save this, it will allow, you can hit apply. The Mixer instance of OBS will still preserve your FTL stream key and everything. If you go back to the settings on the YouTube one, it will preserve the YouTube one. So basically, you, it, it allows you to be able to have these settings uh, active at the same time. What it does not allow you to do is customize the output settings. So if, let's say, I wanted to broadcast to Mixer at like 3,000 kilobits per second and to YouTube or Twitch or whatever at, you know, 5,000 kilobits per second, uh, I wouldn't be able to do that because as soon as I change a value here, it is going to change a value in 
the settings in my other instance of OBS I currently have open. So that cannot work. Anyways, I hope some of you guys found this video informative. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them in the comment section below. And yeah, I uh, hope this was useful. Uh, until next time, this is CS signing out.